In this last season of Big Brother, season 24, we saw Michael make a fool out of the other house guests in the competitions. It was to the point that when the feeds would turn off for the comps, everyone on Twitter would joke around about how we were just waiting around for Michael to inevitably win whatever competition it was, and we were right every single time. It was arguably the greatest individual challenge performance ever in Big Brother, only being rivaled by one past competitor, Janelle Pierzina. All the way back in 2006 during Big Brother All-Stars, Janelle put on a competitive showing that broke every record imaginable. She tied the record for the most HOH wins, she set the record for the most veto wins, and she almost doubled the single season total comp wins record, which still, to this day, is a Big Brother record and is only shared with by Michael. Last summer, we took a look at Michael's record tying competition run, but we never actually looked at the original. So today, we'll be taking a deep dive into Janelle's record setting comp run on Big Brother All Stars and seeing truly just how incredible and unfathomable her Cinderella story was. Okay, for the third week in a row and the final veto oh, winner, who could you? it be? Oh, it's Janelle! Congratulations! Thank you! Yet again. <laughs> Starting things off on night one, Janelle entered the Big Brother All-Star house as a pretty big target. Not only was she from the most recent season, but she made it all the way to third place and had proven to be a pretty solid competitor, winning two HOHs and two Vitas. Janelle was looking to protect the other players from season six, so she was gunning for that first HOH. In this comp, the other house guests would take turns throwing a meteor towards the players to try and knock them off a pedestal. Janelle got lucky that nobody ever targeted her, and instead, the other players took turns knocking everyone else off. So before you knew it, Janelle was the last house guest standing, and she became the week one HOH alongside Jace, who won the first heat. It wasn't necessarily the most impressive comp win, but a win's a win, and it secured Janelle half the power for the week. It came down to Danny and Jedi Janie. You know, Danny's evil. I definitely knew I was safe keeping Jedi Janie in the game. Bring it. Oh, oh. congratulations, Janelle. You are the second head of household. That game sucks. Heading into the veto comp, Janelle wanted to ensure that the two players she nominated for the week stayed on the block. So even though Janelle was already safe, she was locked in to ensure that nobody else could win. The veto comp had the house guests searching for veto medallions in a landfill, and the first house guests to find six veto symbols would win the first veto of the summer. When it was time to play, Janelle absolutely demolished it absolutely smoking everybody else and walking away with the veto win in a comp that definitely required more skill than the HOH did. So this means that Janelle is two for two in competitions. Not a bad start. Janelle has two. I was going full throttle on this competition because I couldn't let Allison or Danielle win it. Oh, Janelle is in the lead. Janelle's got four, Danielle with three. Janelle has got five. And you keep hearing like, Janelle. <laughs> Janelle got another one. I was like tearing it up. And our first all-star veto winner, Janelle! It's a really nice way to start the all-star season. I won the first HOH and I won the first power veto. <laughs> After winning both the comps in week one, Janelle got to take week two entirely off. As the prior HOH, she couldn't compete in the HOH comp and then she wasn't chosen to play in the veto. So her perfect record stayed intact heading into week three. To start week three, it was a quiz style HOH based on past events in the house, but unfortunately Janelle could not pull off the third straight win and she finished in third place to James. But third place is by no means a bad performance, so good on her. As for the veto, Janelle once again was not chosen to play, so she just had to sit on the sidelines and gear up for the following week. After not having won a competition in two weeks, Janelle was itching for another win. So when the week four HOH kicked off, Janelle was ready. It was a trivia knockout style competition and Janelle had the perfect blend of getting questions right and not getting eliminated when other players got questions right. And in the end, Janelle knocked out Marcellus and was crowned the week four HOH. This meant that Janelle had now won three out of the four competitions that she competed in and had a bronze medal in the one that she lost. So that's pretty much as dominant of a start as you could get. Which word's definition from the wall contains the word sneakiness? Janelle. Deceit. That is correct, Janelle. Which word's definition contains the word obligation? Janelle. Loyalty. Congratulations, Janelle, for the second time this season. 
You are the head of household. I'm the first person to have HOH twice this season. What can I say? I dominate in this game. <laughs> Heading into the veto comp, Janelle had actually made a deal with Dr. Will and Mike Boogie to try and let Boogie win the veto, and that's exactly what happened. Janelle helped Boogie win, and while it does count as a loss for Janelle, she wasn't fully trying to win it for herself. So for me, it's not a bad loss. I can't believe I got one right. So Janelle's first four weeks in the house saw her and her alliance have power every single week, but things came crashing down on her here. As the prior HOH, Janelle couldn't compete and she had to watch as Danielle won the week five HOH. This marked the first time that Janelle was in any sort of danger and due to her competition prowess in the beginning of the game, Janelle was nominated for eviction and she was the primary target for the week. So this was potentially a win or go home situation for Janelle and she needed to win the veto in order to survive. The veto competition was revealed to be a punishment slash reward veto where all the house guests started out with a certain amount of veto points and they could earn veto points by taking on punishments or lose veto points by taking on rewards. And the player with the most veto points at the end would win the power of veto. Janelle's destiny was in her own hands and she went balls to the wall and did in fact walk away with the win. Not only did this keep her safe in a position where she otherwise likely would have been evicted, but it also meant that she had already matched the amount of comp wins she had gotten the prior season, and it was only week five. I desperately need to win this veto. It's the difference between me staying or going, really. Who is willing to have all our beds replaced with army cops in order to win seven veto points? I was the one that put the house on cots and no hot water. Did someone agree to not play in next week's veto competition? No. I don't mind not competing in the next veto competition as long as no one finds out about it until the competition. And the veto winner is... Danielle! Congratulations. Thank you. Danielle was gunning for me to get out of this house and I think that her worst nightmare just happened. Oops, too bad, so sad. I'm gonna be here another week. With a target still on her back, Janelle was in dire need of some more power going into the jury stage of the game. And there was actually even more at stake than the other house guests could have realized. One of the punishments that Janelle had secretly taken in order to win the week five veto was that she was not allowed to play in the next week's veto. So if Janelle didn't win the week six HOH, she would have no way to save herself and she would be a sitting duck just waiting to be evicted. It was once again, a winner go home situation for Janelle. But unfortunately for her, luck wasn't on her side this time and she was eliminated from the competition and Erica won. All hope for Janelle was lost and she was surely going to be evicted except by the grace of God, there had been some technical difficulties during the HOH competition. So the producers stripped Erica's HOH away and played an entirely new competition in order to try and keep things fair. And with this second shot at life, Janelle went out and won. This was Janelle's third HOH win in six weeks and it was beyond clutch. This was now back-to-back -back weeks where Janelle's back was against the wall and she came out on top and it was her fifth overall win of the season. At this point in Big Brother, this actually tied the single season comp record at five and Janelle was only getting started. As I said earlier, Janelle couldn't participate in the veto comp, so she just got to sit back and enjoy her safety for the rest of the week. Which spirit used the phrase on the other side? Answers, please. The correct answer is A. Josh, congratulations, Janelle. Yeah! You're the new head of household. This one's for you, Kaser. I won HOH again. I've been HOH three times out of six. Janelle wins. Janelle's like, yay! And Howie's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're such poor sports. Silver ball, baby! Yeah! I'm here to crush dreams. What can I say? As the outgoing HOH, Janelle couldn't compete in the final eight HOH. And on top of that, Janelle wasn't chosen to play in the veto. In most timelines, that would spell the end for Janelle due to how big of a target that she was. But Janelle got super fortunate that Chicken George of all people won the HOH because he was one of the only players that wasn't going to nominate her. So she got a ride into the final seven. Going into the final seven, Janelle had had to sit out of the past three competitions. So she was itching for another win. Unfortunately for Janelle, she came just short as she finished in second place behind Mike Boogie in the HOH. Gnomes? Oh. Congratulations, Mike. You're the new head of household. Janelle was then nominated next to James and the veto comp was, you guessed it, potentially a winner go home scenario for Janelle. 
The veto competition was both have, and even though Janelle did have Will and Boogie wanting to throw the competition, she still had to battle the veto king James and two other players in order to snag the win. It was actually a really tight competition, but in the end, Janelle did in fact beat James and come out on top as the winner of OTEV, making it her third veto win of the season, breaking the record for single season comp wins, and most importantly, giving her a ticket into the final six. Bring me the first all-star eliminated. Excuse me! I fell to the ground with James. Jerk! And we got up, stood up, we each had a doll in our hand, and we both looked at it at the same time, and I was like, oh my god, I got the right doll. It's crazy. She took the doll out of my hand, physically assaulted me, I am harmed. Hey, I gotta give it up. I gotta give it up. Unbelievable. Janelle, you have won the power of veto. James was really upset at me. I can't believe that just happened. We fought over a freaking doll. I won the power video, and now I'm here for revenge. At the final six, Janelle actually failed to win the HOH again, which crazily enough marked the first time all season that Janelle had lost back-to-back -back HOH comps. Erica ended up winning the HOH, and her target was, of course, Janelle. For like the billionth week this season, Janelle needed to win the veto or she could be in trouble, and she had nobody to help her this time. The veto comp was the face morphing one, so Janelle was all on her own. But let me tell you, when I say that I have never, ever seen a more impressive performance in the face swapping competition, I mean it. Janelle Pierzina put on a jaw-dropping performance, absolutely destroying the rest of the house guests and winning the power of veto for the fourth time this summer. This was actually like the fifth time that Janelle won a comp that saved her life in the game, and it was her seventh overall comp win. To put it into perspective, none of the remaining house guests, hell, none of any of the house guests, including the evicted ones, had more than two comp wins, and Janelle had seven. Nobody was even in the same league as Janelle, and it seemed like she could win any type of comp that Big Brother threw at her. I've been stressed all day. I've been sleeping a lot. I've just been really nervous because I, I know everyone wants me out of the house. Janelle's time is one minute. This is my fourth veto that I've won, and I needed to win the power of veto, otherwise I was probably going to be sent out the door on Thursday. Heading into the final five, it was double eviction time, and surprise, surprise, in a true or false HOH comp, Janelle answered every question perfectly and won her fourth HOH of the season. This tied her for the most HOH wins in a single season and further pushed her comp record up to eight total wins on the season. Janelle was seemingly unstoppable. Well, okay, I guess she was kind of stoppable because right after winning the HOH, Janelle did lose the following veto to Erica, but she was already safe, so it wasn't awful for her to lose that. With that, Janelle takes her eight competition wins and heads into the final four. Tonight's game is called Battle of the Sexes. Everyone got it right, everyone gets one point. Yeah, and everyone got it right, Will and Janelle move on. Janelle's the only one who got it right, and Janelle, you take the lead with four points. Everyone but Will got it right, everyone got it right, everyone gets one point. Everyone got it right, everyone got it right, but Janelle, congratulations, you're eight for eight, and you are the new head of household. I wonder who won the head of household. Janelle! Congratulations. When I'm in bed at night and I think about um, the ex-house guests and all the events that happened, of course my studying pays off. I got them all right. Heading into the final four, Janelle had to sit out as the prior HOH and watch as Boogie won it. For the final time this season, Janelle had her eyes set on the veto, as that was the only way for her to secure her spot in the final three. This was it, the last veto of the summer. But unfortunately, Janelle wasn't able to... No, I'm kidding, of course. Janelle obviously won the final veto of the summer and earned her spot in the final three. The first thing that I saw was the week five um, HOH and Evicti. Went and got Danielle's picture and I placed it in the correct position. Oh, 
Okay, for the third week in a row and the final veto oh, winner, who please. could it be? Oh, it's Janelle. Congratulations. Thank you. Yet again. <laughs> I was so happy. This is a tremendous um, advancement to me because now I am securing myself in final three. This was absolutely ridiculous. This was her fifth veto win of the season, which was a new Big Brother record, and her ninth total win in All-Stars. This boundary was being pushed beyond what anybody had thought was possible, and it was oh so close to breaking that double-digit mark, but unfortunately, for real this time, that win never came. Going into part one of the final HOH at the final three, Mike Boogie instantly threw the competition. And this shocked Janelle enough to the point where she accidentally let go of her key as well, and she lost the endurance part in mere seconds. You remember Richard Hatch? Yes, I do. They both have to take me to the finals. What? Well, you, Janelle. Janelle, I just saw it again. I'm sorry, but you did not have both hands on your key for the entire yeah. time. So, Erica, the good news for you is that you are the winner of round one. I did want to win an endurance competition. I've never won one, and I pride myself on winning competitions, but I lost it. Erica won it. I've got to win the next one. Then, in part two, Janelle just got bested by Boogie, meaning that the competition queen had to sit out of part three. Boogie went on to win part of three, and he made the obvious choice to evict Janelle, where she got third place for a second straight season. But man, what a run Janelle had on All Stars. You've won nine competitions, you have too many friends on the jury. I love you, but I have to evict you, sweetie. It's fun. Really? You've been HOH oh, well. four times, you've won the POV five times, mm -hmm. but looking back, what was the flaw in your game? Um. I trusted too many people. Like, I believed people, so that was my major flaw, I believe. Four HOH wins in five power of vetoes. Overall, Janelle brought a competitive tenacity that was completely unseen before in regards to Big Brother. It was totally unprecedented, and it took almost 15 years before anybody could match it, even with a ton of extra competitions. Janelle had competed in 15 competitions throughout All-Stars, and of those 15, she won 9 of them, giving her a 60% win rate, which is beyond absurd considering the level of competition that she was up against. Of the 6 competitions that she lost, she was actually pretty close in some of them. One of them she threw to Boogie, one of them she got second to Boogie, one of them she got third to James, and then of course there was the slip up during the final HOH. So there were really only 2 or 3 comps that Janelle competed in that she lost by a good margin. I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but I cannot overstate just how freaking bananas it was that Janelle won this many comps. There was literally not a week all season long that Janelle didn't win at least one competition when she competed in both the HOH and Veto for the week. This means that if Janelle competed in both comps during a week, she won at least one. And you know what? There were only four total weeks throughout the season that Janelle didn't win a competition. Week two, week three, week seven, and week 10. In weeks two and seven, Janelle didn't even play in any of the comps. In week three, she only competed in the HOH in which she got third. And in week 10, that was the final HOH. Janelle was repeatedly thrown into win or go home situations and she constantly came out on top. And I don't know if there has ever been or ever will be a more clutch competitor than Janelle. As long as it's not in the final three, of course. Before we close, I have one last metric to show just how much better Janelle was than everyone else. Up to this point in the show, the player who had the second highest total comp wins across all seasons played was James Ryan, who had six total comp wins. Janelle, the player with the highest total comp wins, had 13, more than double the next closest player. So yeah, Janelle was on a different level. It is absolutely imperative that Janelle remains in this house. Why? She's a much bigger target than Chilltown. Her as an individual is still a bigger target than Mike Boogie and I as a pair. It's unbelievable. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I, of course, need to give that extra special shout out to all of my YouTube members who are probably the only people that could give Janelle a run for her money in the veto comps. And as always, here's a clip for you on your way out. Man, I am shocked that uh, that you're not going to win Big Brother All-Stars. You are one of the few people in here who are a lot like me and Will, who just get it in life. And uh, and I look forward to, to you being one of the few people I would be friends with outside of here. What are your final thoughts? They're both so sweet. Um, I love them both. Oh, Janie, don't be mad at the people that voted you out. This one was all me.
always the bridesmaid, but never the big brother bride. Bye bye Janelle. He's such a loser. Well, I was gonna say, <laughs> ask her your final thoughts, but I think you just yeah. said it. Anything else you wanna add? Screw you, Mike Boogie. I hope you lose. <laughs>